We have a Google Sheet here with information about projects and their project completion. I want to show you how you can make a pivot table like this with each project, their percent complete in a number and in a bar chart. We'll start by selecting the data, going to data, pivot table, new sheet and create. First thing we want to do is add the rows. We'll go to the pivot table editor on the right, rows, add and project name. And now for values, we want to add in the project completion. But instead of a sum, we want to have average. So we'll choose summarized by and we'll change it to average. We have an empty row. So we're also going to go to filters, add, and we're going to find things where project name, instead of showing all items, we're going to show filter by condition and click on none and choose is not empty. So we'll only see things where project name is not empty. Click OK. And now we will see our data here. To create the bar chart, we're going to add a values. We're going to go to the very bottom and choose calculated field. This allows you to write a formula to create a value or in this case, a bar chart. And that's going to be with the sparkline formula. So the sparkline formula, we're going to use curly brackets for our content and we're going to reference what we want to be in the chart by the column name. So we're going to do apostrophe project completion. That's just the name of our column of original data. And then we want to compare that to the value one. And you'll see that once we do that, we get a line. So the next thing we want to do is tell it what kind of chart. So we'll add curly brackets again, and we're going to put in quotation marks, chart type, one word, in quotation marks, and then a comma, another quotation mark, and then bar. And once we do that, you'll see we get the colors. Next, we want to tell it what the maximum value is. So we'll use a semicolon to separate our parameters, and then quotation max, comma, one, not in quotation marks. And now our chart knows what 100% is equal to one there. And the final thing we want to do is summarize by not sum, but custom. And you'll see once we do that, that the bottom grand total one doesn't work correctly. We can add to the project completion an average function. So we put project completion in parentheses and add average, and then we'll get that value correctly. Take a look at the Sparkline documents for more information. You can add things like color one and color two to your bar chart. So we can say color one, say orange, and then we can say color two, light gray there. Now that we have the percent completions in this Sparkline chart, to sort differently. So we'll go up to our rows and indicate how to sort. Instead of by project name, we'll click sort by, and this time it might make sense to choose the project completion instead, and ascending or descending. Now your chart is organized in order with the total on the bottom. For a final step here, rename the calculated field percent complete, and we have a nice looking informative pivot table.